What's so encouraging about Outwaters Prairie Chicken Recovery is that there are so many people that um, you know are really passionate about bringing this this species back from you know near extinction. Without the captive rearing program, um, you know, there's no question in my mind that the Outwaters Prairie Chicken would have been um, extinct. Yeah, so to give people a better idea of kind of on what scale we're um, raising these birds, uh, every year Fossil Realm usually has 24 breeding pairs. Uh, each pair is put together based on their genetic compatibility. Each hen every year can lay 12 to 18 eggs. This was a, a good year for us. We were able to hatch 362 chicks. So the chicks are usually between 10 and 16 weeks of age when they go down to the release sites. Uh, the first groups that ship out are usually a little on the younger side of the spectrum, um, just because when we do have a good year, we've got 300 chicks running through the facility. We kind of need our, our biggest and oldest chicks to, to move along down to the refuge to, to make room for, for all the younger ones coming up. So on uh, release day, they'll go through a series of different stations, I guess, if you will. First, we'll make sure everybody has a, a permanent metal band on them. That's their ID, basically. And then they'll go see the vets to get a physical, to make sure every, everything looks good, they're good to go. They'll get dewormed one last time if need be. And they take uh, wing measurements, looking at their wings, just to make sure that their flight feathers are in and as they should be and some of them will get uh, radio collared as well. It's usually a hen, so that all happens before they get loaded into crates uh, and then loaded into the trailer to go to their release site. The birds that you're seeing outside of the pens right now, we got those around the first week of July from Fossil Rim Wildlife Center, and those were released. So the whole system in general is an acclimation pen. Uh, once they get acclimated to the prairie for two weeks, then they'll be transitioned to the outside where they're free to roam. We do supplemental feed them outside, but yeah, they're free to go. We do provide tours the first weekend of the month. We send people out and it's pretty much just a birding trip, learning about the prairie, learning about the management we do here, and actually getting to see some of the birds on the ground. It is probably the most endangered species in North America, certainly the most, most endangered bird species. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's got some uphill challenges facing us, but I feel that we can return their populations to some semblance of, of viability if, if given enough time and support. And, you know, just, just folks becoming interested in and, and becoming aware of some of the, some of the issues involved in, in recovering a, a, a species as endangered as, as the Atwater prairie chicken, I think would be extremely helpful.